Hello everyone, I'm Mike Dady, Senior Application Engineer for Go Engineer. Today we're going to talk about rolls, and not the type associated with dice or baked goods. We're going to review rolls on the 3D Experience platform, covering everything from inviting members to the tenant, all the way to assigning roles by group. Let's get rolling on the 3D Experience platform. Before we start the process, the steps shown today require the user to be an administrator on the company tenant. If you do not have access to the platform and member management dashboards, please contact your 3D Experience platform admin. If you are the platform admin and cannot access these dashboards, please contact Go Engineer Technical Support and they can help resolve the issue. As everyone might have guessed, most of the tools used today are found in the two dashboards mentioned. Dashboards can be found by clicking on the three lines under the DSS logo next to the compass. Once there, we can see the platform and members management dashboards. Go ahead and select the members management dashboard or go to the members tab of the platform management dashboard. Both methods will load the members control center app. Here is where we can review the existing members, the roles available with license count, and any additional apps in the tenant. There are also multiple commands at the top of the widget. We're currently in the invite and grant roles section and currently I am the only member of the tenant. Let's look at a couple settings that impact licensing on the 3D Experience platform. To do so, select configure members options. The two settings we'll review are licenses expiration and invitations from administrators. I would highly recommend enabling automatically ungrant expired roles from members or groups. This automatically removes roles from members if the licensing expires. This will eliminate any errors when trying to access the 3D Experience platform. The other setting, allow administrators to grant roles without assigning automatically the associated license, controls whether external 3D Experience users can use their own licensing when accessing this tenant. Let's go back to the invite and grant roles and look at my member information. Each role represents the licensing purchased and grants access to certain applications that perform functions on the 3D Experience platform. The assign license toggle determines whether a license is consumed. If enabled, a license from this tenant will be used. If disabled, the external member will use their license from another tenant. Restrict usage to the platform controls whether the license for that role can be used on another tenant. Enabling the option will restrict the license to only be used on this tenant. Disabling the option allows the license to be used on another tenant. Currently, the only role assigned to me is 3D Swimmer and is the entry role needed to access the tenant. If we click on the View All button, we can see all the roles available. If there is an abundance of licenses, we can search by role name or the trigram for the role, like UES for Collaborative Designer for SOLIDWORKS. Before granting the role, make sure to set the licensing options for the role, then select the corresponding checkbox. I'll add the Collaborative Designer for SOLIDWORKS role. When I do, a window open stating the Collaborative Industry Innovator will also be granted as it is required for the Collaborative Designer role. Hit OK and we can see that both roles have been added. Now let's see how we add members to the tenant. This can be done from either My Platform Control Center or the Members Control Center app. Once the command is active, we can add email addresses for the invitations. More than one email can be entered to assign the same settings for all the new invites. We can set the users to be a regular member or a tenant administrator. It is always a good idea to have a backup administrator. We can also invite external users to the tenant. If desired, we can include a message as part of the email. Once we're ready, hit next to assign the roles for the users. Now we can see the list of available roles and use the checked boxes to add them. Again, if we select roles like 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS Premium and Collaborative Designer for SOLIDWORKS that have prerequisite roles, we will be warned about the prerequisite role being granted. We can also set the licensing options for the roles during this process. 
I only want to grant access to the tenant at this time, so no other roles will be selected. Now we'll hit Next to see the standalone apps available. Once we're ready, hit Invite to complete the process. This will send an email to the user for them to access the tenant. Once the member accesses the role, the clock starts ticking and the role is tied to the member for 30 days. After that, it can be reassigned to another member. Now we'll look at other methods to assign roles for members. Users can request roles from the administrator using the compass under the company section. When selected, a list of available roles is displayed. If we click on the role, a panel opens and we can make the request. The user will receive a notification that they have requested the role and an email about the request. The platform administrator will also receive a notification and email for the request containing a link to the member's control center. When the app is opened, we can grant the request by selecting Manage Requests, then select the request tile and hit Accept. Pop-up messages will appear showing the role has been granted. The user will once again receive a notification and email regarding the accepted request. If the user is logged in, they can refresh their browser to see the new role, or it will be available the next time they log in to the 3D Experience platform. The last method we'll review for role assignment will be done using groups. Groups are created with the User Groups app. Let's go ahead and do a quick search for the app in the compass and open it. When creating groups, it is a good practice to have the name correspond to the role to be assigned to the group. We'll create a new group called Project Planner, give it a description, and hit Create to add the group. This will open a new panel for the members of the group. Now let's add some members. Click on Add Member, then we can search to select the needed users, and hit Add to update the group members. Now let's go back to the Members Control Center and hit the information for the Project Planner role. Here we can see a Groups category, and we can then select the Project Planner group. If the role has any prerequisite, we will be notified, and after we hit OK, our group now has the Project Planner role granted. Our last topic will cover how to remove members from the tenant. Again, we will start in the Members Control Center, select the user information for the member, go to Settings, and we can remove the user from here. I hope everyone has improved their skill managing 3D Experience platform licensing and roles. Once again, I am Mike Dady, Senior Application Engineer at GoEngineer, and I really enjoyed helping everyone roll out their 3D Experience platform tenant.